everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the Friday Piano Canlis live stream. Uh, I'm going to start us off with just some more solo piano, but if you have any specific requests, feel free to send them in the chat, and I will do my best. <laughs>
my friend Valentine. That was Festio. Good ear.
is my one and only love. I'm gonna fix the microphone really quick.
Thanks for the request. That was Paradise by Coldplay. We're going to take a quick break from Justin and Kate.
happiness that was chain smokers.
is Tom Petty. And I see we now have a request for Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. So that's coming up next. Pardon me. If you're wondering what I'm doing when I'm going back and forth, it's mostly trying to mix on the fly. And uh, I was just working with Jeremy. <laughs> so we got a, someone helping out with the AV right now. And it makes it a lot easier. But we're still dialing things in right now. And following La Lady Gaga, I'm going to take another request for Eagle from Hotel California. Thanks for the great song ideas, by the way. It takes uh, a lot of the uh, work out of what I have to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Suit's Body, followed by Suit and Tie. Let's see if we have some more good requests. Um, I think next up is going to be Sia Titanium. I love that on piano. Um, I can play Lady in Red as well. Kind of a throwback 80s prom song almost. <coughs> Thank you. 
watching. Uh, we've got more great requests coming in, so I think I'm just going to keep playing those. I don't need to use my own set list. <laughs> uh, I have a request for Adele, and followed by Kansas. And I also saw a request for some Daft Punk. So those three coming up next.
podcast is coming up for Earth, Wind, and Fire and BTS. So many good requests. Thanks, everyone, for participating. I have to pick and choose here. I can't, I can't get to them all. Uh, I'm really liking the Britney Spears. Why not, you know? So I'm going to do some Britney. And then uh, I see a request for Phil Collins. Uh, I really like his stuff on piano. It's very melodic. So I think I'll do Britney followed by Phil Collins.
Thanks for all the requests. I think next I'm going to do the Alicia Keys, because I can't avoid doing that one now that I've thought of it. <laughs> it's too good. I see that request for Vanessa Carlton. Uh, it might be a little goofy, but I'm going to do it anyway because <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Allison. And I also see that request for Lincoln Park, and I think I'll throw that in later.
saw the request for Moon River, so that's coming up next. That's a great request. I will play Tears for Fears next.
have seen many, many requests for Despacito. So, okay, I will play just a little bit of it, thanks.
everyone. Um, some really great requests. I'm sorry I don't know all of them or didn't get to all of them. I'm going to take one minute and grab a sip of coffee just real quick.
everyone. Well, thanks for tuning in and uh, you've been enjoying these piano live streams that we've been doing. <coughs> uh, if you've been following from the beginning, you know that we've been having them for maybe four or five weeks now since the lockdown started. Um, but today we're changing it up a little and I would like to introduce my friend Nika Ma and she will be joining us to provide some jazz vocals. Um, <coughs> I hope you enjoy our set. And I did see some requests for Nora Jones, and I <laughs> specifically held off on playing them because our first song is Nora Jones. Saw 
Thanks everyone for watching again. Uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. We're having a lot of fun <laughs> in <laughs> here in the empty restaurant. Um, some of you are enjoying Candlest Dinners and some of you are from all over the world. Um, it's an interesting collection of folks watching. <laughs> really appreciate it.
Stars, stars fell in Al Alabama. Um, excuse my, uh, <laughs> I think I messed up there in the middle. And the next song is gonna be Beth and Mucho. Many of you probably know, but it's a wonderful tune. <laughs> Si fuera esta noche la última vez, besame, besame mucho. Que tengo miedo a perderte, perderte después. Next, Nika. Would you like to learn a little game? Um, what do you think? <laughs> let's try Mac the Knife. We could do Mac the Knife. Let's try that. All right. Keep it. I don't know why I sing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I sing Dream a Little Dream of Me to my six month old daughter as she's falling asleep. So <laughs> we don't want to put y'all to sleep too. <laughs> And I was not diligent in my homework and learning all of our set <laughs> perfectly, so <laughs> it's more for my sake. <coughs> Right. 
drawing out all his hard-earned cash and now Mac he'd spend like a sailor could it be our boy's done something rash now Jenny Diver hum hum yes yeah, Suki Tawdry look out Miss Latalinia and old Lucy Brown oh that Look out, Miss Latalinia and old Lucy Brown. Oh, that line forms on the right face. Now that Mackey's back in town. Next, we're going to do It's Only a Paper Moon. Mm -hmm. Close out the set.
<laughs> Let's see. Let me look through what we've got. Could always do um, Vivian and Rose, or we could do Killing Me Softly, or we could do. <laughs> What do you feel like playing? You could do Killing Me Softly. Okay. Do that? Yes. All right, I might mess up the words, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Jason, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we'd like to invite you to the second ever Canlis Family Bingo Night. Yes, we find ourselves once again this beautiful Friday evening. Jason, do you mind if I just come around here? You know, Nika, can I just say that was that was stunning. That was beautiful. A round of applause for our studio audience of two. <laughs> One and a half, actually, right now. 
You know, I just, um, Nika, I, I, I'm wondering, actually, we have this tradition now. I so appreciate you coming on. And I'm, you know, typically on Friday nights, as of last week, we like to play a little bingo. Right. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if you wouldn't help us play bingo. Chris, isn't it true that it'd be, it'd be nice to have just another set of hands with the bingo game tonight? Is that, is that possible? Nika, do you suppose you could, would you be willing? Oh, yeah. Please, why don't you step on over and, okay. and um, sound guy, Jeremy, if we can get, uh, we can get some light on on uh, on our bingo stage, and then and then maybe uh, we'll just get you mic'd up potentially. That was um, that was lovely, Jason. What a great idea! Thank you for uh, for that idea. Um, you know, uh, while we're getting set up and getting Nika prepared for her first ever um, bingo debut, I'd like to address some of the issues around um, how exactly do you get one of these bingo cards and uh, it's true you could if you wanted go ahead and order something from Canlis the cards come in the mail but we also decided wouldn't it be cool if you could just write us a postcard and, and let us know you'd like a bingo card and you know it's it's incredible let's stay there just one second we, uh, Chris maybe we can bring the mailbox over here I, I, uh, I brought the Canlis mailbox and um, I thought I'd share with you just a couple Thanks, Jason. Just a couple of, wouldn't that be tragic? Yes, we're all wondering if that Vesper is gonna end up in the piano. So I, I thought I'd share with you a little something from the mailbox and just what it's like to get a bingo card these days while we're, while we're getting Nika mic'd up. Um, <coughs> let me just grab a few here and see what we've got. I've got um, well, I found, I found this to be quite interesting, actually. It appears that um, we got a postcard from Bali. At least I thought it was from Bali, and then upon further inspection, I learned that it's not from Bali. In fact, it's from Christy, Christine Snohomish. Christy, thank you for your, for your postcard from Bali. And Christy, I just wanted to let you know that, well, I feel like you should, you should get a hold of this man right here, Christy. His name is Drew. He's, he's Drew from Seattle, Washington. And it appears that the two of you travel to Bali in the same time and place. So. Um, Drew and Christy, if you want to just, you know, a little COVID connection there might be good. This one's from uh, Miss Goldring. You know, if I win, she writes, I'd love to give the prize to a dear one living in Bellevue, if that's okay with you. Yes, Miss Goldring is entirely okay with us. Later we'll be talking about that prize. And thank you for, for writing us all the way from Salt Lake City. This one said, um, hi there, we'd love to play bingo, the Hopkins family. You know, one thing that I love about this, folks, is that the Hopkins family apparently doesn't have a whole lot of, a whole lot of cards at home. You know, Jeremy, I don't know if they can actually see this, but this one appears to be from 1950, about the time we opened Canlis Restaurant, back in the days when we were a, a fine dining restaurant. Now, nowadays, of course, we just send dinner out and, and play bingo. This one I loved, dear Canlis, may I kindly receive a bingo card? Thank you for your kindness. You know, good gracious people, if we don't need a little more kindness in the world, Eric from Maple Valley, yes, my son, you can have a bingo card. It's already been sent to you, and I hope you're playing with us tonight. We got a couple of rounds coming your way, Eric. Thank you for your card. And folks, it just reminded me, maybe you don't have even a postcard from the 1950s. You can just take a piece of paper and write to us, bingo card. Go, go ahead, we'll do that. This one right here, just says, thank you, Seattle strong, we canless, woof woof. I loved that. This is from, uh, this is from Mike in Bellevue. Mike, thanks for saying it with art. Look at this one right here. I thought this was incredible. You know, kids, it doesn't take much to send a postcard. I know those are from probably a, a time before, well, probably many of you have never mailed a postcard before, so this will be a fun exercise, but Maybe one of the special things, this is from, this looks like it's from Kalen and Belmont Avenue. Kalen, sometimes you can just say it with art, the things we can't say with words. I appreciate this one. This one here was drawn until I saw in the back that it's actually a famous postcard. And then here, Canlis, you are better than unicorns and sprinkles combined. You know, I don't know if that's true, but I appreciate the words of flattery. It may not get you far in life, but it'll get you a bingo card. Folks, we've been getting cards left and right from all over this great state of Washington, and I just want to let you know what an honor it is to bring you, for the second time ever, 
Chandless, bingo. Nika, are you ready? Chris, are we ready to do this? I think so. Get out yeah. those bingo cards, ladies and gentlemen, and Chris is going to take us through the rules. How exactly does one play bingo, Chris? Well, welcome back, everyone, to week two. Uh, so you should have gotten some uh, bingo cards uh, either through your various uh, <coughs> you know, postage or uh, through your fa family meal boxes. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two rounds. So you can approach this a couple of different ways. Chris, did you say two rounds? Two rounds. Two rounds. So, everybody. I mean, in all honesty, they could just kind of uh, go for it all at once, go for that first prize, or uh, we're going to do a second round as well. So, you know, you can you choose your cards wisely and however you'd like to play them. But, yes, we'll be doing two rounds of bingo. That is uh, five all in a line. There's going to be horizontal, vertical, diagonal counts too. But uh, those are the variants. Those are the rules. So that's and, five, uh, five in a row. Five in a row. Up and down, left and right, yeah. diagonal. Nika, have you ever played bingo? I'm just, I'm just kind of curious. No. Okay. So you fit in perfectly with us uh, because we only have done this one week so far. We're happy to have you, Nika. So uh, up and down, left and right, diagonal, yeah, yeah. even. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal works as well. And just then remember there are two rounds. There's two rounds. And if you do find yourself uh, with a card full of a line, how do you win? Well, go ahead and uh, just reach out and text this number, 480-702-1978. That's 480-702-1978. That's right. Just text a picture of that winning bingo card and the, uh, the family meal stamp on the back, and we will get, uh, we'll get Brian Canlis right back to you to let you know that you've won. Folks, for those of you just tuning in, this is live bingo, family night bingo from Canlis Restaurant. I'm Mark Canlis, sort of your host here with Nick Moss and Chris Gannenberger. And then uh, back on the keyboards, that's my brother Brian, who somehow always figures out a way to have me standing here holding an old microphone, and he just gets to be in his slippers. I just want you all to know that uh, he's wearing slippers while I'm... <laughs> Wearing a taxi. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, thank you. Brian will be live on the keys. If you want to text him, that that winning card. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and send that to Brian. It's the first card. That, is that when? Is that, is that last week, Chris? We had a couple of winners. We had six in the first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, uh, it was it was chaos. Get that number ready. Be, Get that number ready. Be ready. That number one more time. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. That number again is four eight zero, seven zero two one nine seven eight. And Nika, what should they do with that number since we're Yes, probably call it. It's perfect. Yeah. It's, a, it's a perfect answer. Shoot us a text. So here's how this works. Nico, if you can just um, properly arm yourself with the things that you need, we're going to have you go ahead and uh, toss all the ping pong balls there. Each one has, been, has a letter and a number on it. Of course, in the old days when we were a restaurant, we used to make candles out on that bowl. These days, we just, we just play bingo. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first round, we bring to you The first the letter first and time. number. Ooh, dramatic. There it is. B14. 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 That's right. Kids are reminded you want to take a pen and mark off B14 if you have that on your card. N33. N33. Go ahead, Nico. Give us one more. It takes, it takes five to win here, and to be totally honest, we have no idea how long this game is going to be. 066. 066. 066. You know, the beautiful thing about live stream is that we don't get cut off, do we? We can just keep doing this <laughs> into the night. All right. Next is N34. 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 And Mark, do you know this is the same double-sided tape from last week? Do you know, I was wondering if the double-sided tape had changed yeah. or if we were no, using the same. the same. And it's working it's two weeks in a row now. That's, uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> just, I was looking for a double-sided tape sponsorship. Yeah, I was well, for, yeah, I just, yeah. Don't know. But no, uh, the next, uh, next bingo ball is B7. B7, ladies and gentlemen. Now, at this point, you maybe are, the mathematicians among you have figured out that it is possible to win. I just want to remind you that if you have a winning card and you're standing up, screaming into your computer, 
bingo, bingo. That's not going to work, folks. You need to take a photo of that winning bingo card and text All it right. to All right, take your vitamins, there. everyone. B12. 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 B12 is the sixth bingo ball. Give it a good stir there. A properly socially distanced passing of the ping pong ball. Well, well played there, you two. Indeed, indeed. Uh, next is I-17. 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 It's just in from Brian. I'm being told with 11 audience members, the chance of winning right now is one in 6,412, which means that we might have to speed up the first round just a We're little bit. Right. We're doing right. Next number, N35. 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 N35 appears to be a lucky number from Jason Lux. <laughs> right. Next up, I-18. Chris, maybe I could you 18. could you read back those numbers? I'm wondering if it's tough to, or can we get a close zoom in on those numbers? Maybe we just read them out loud. Go ahead and take us through one by one, so the folks listening at home can yeah. get a chance to check those cards. So right now we stand at B14, N33, O66, N34, B7, B12, I17, N35, and I18. I think we should do one more. I think we should. Yeah, I think we yeah. should. Go ahead. Keep the train rolling. You could take us through. Oh, 75. Oh, 75, 75, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of excitement from the crowd. I've got air quotes around that word, both of them over there. Yes, that's right. And now we're going to speed up the game a little bit. Speed Next up, kids G49. 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 Wait a minute, I'm getting word from no, I'm having a head shake from my brother. No, no, no. Brian, as a reminder, you're supposed to be looking for photos of winning cards coming in so that we don't have to keep the kids up all evening. But not yet, ladies and gentlemen. I recommend you pour yourself another second round and stick with us. We'll be right back with more numbers. All right, next up, I-28. 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 Ah, the Which eyes means? have it. I-25. I-25. Those of you that are working on the I row, as a reminder, this is Nika's very first time playing bingo, so there's no possible way we have rigged this. Is that true, Nika? You've never played before. Never played. You didn't grow up playing bingo. No. You didn't play bingo with your parents never. watching a live stream during no, a national <laughs> international pandemic. What did you do with your parents? I'm just kind of curious. Did you... Uh, you learned to sing, maybe. If it did. How did you learn to sing? Oh, yeah. Well, um, I would listen to oldies with my dad and my brother on our, on our drives. 97.3 KBSG. 97.3. A little shout out for 97. Is it still around they anymore? Don't they don't exist anymore. <laughs> Sorry, 97.3 KBSG, but we loved you anyway. That's how you learned to sing. Yeah, well. Playing um, with, singing with your. Said by while we're discussing your family history, Brian is getting very excited over there. We'll just have a second here. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the stall tactic might have worked. It seems you just needed a little time to look at those yes. cards again. We have a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. It's only the third time in Candless history we've ever had a bingo winner. And and can we confirm the numbers? Is it true? Do we have a name of this winner? Is this winner Eric? from Mercer Island. I read his card earlier, I hope. Right, well, so in this latent pause, we're gonna take a moment to tell them what they might be winning. Yeah, we should probably... Uh, Brian, how long is this pause gonna take? We could have a word from the sponsors. We could, uh, Jason could play us a little ditty. Maybe you could finish a story about you learned to sing from your from your dad. No singing lessons. Yeah, I mean, isn't that how... I took a, I took a handful of opera lessons four is a handful is a five like a few i don't remember exactly how many but not very it. many just a small handful <laughs> yes well i i think that i i learned how to sing from listening to simon and garfunkel from simon and garfunkel yeah you learned how to is, did they teach you how to harmonize harmonize yes is so it true I would that if i to took five too. singing yeah. lessons and Yes. And listen to Simon Garfunkel, maybe, probably not. No, I have a hunch it has something more to do with that. Well, I, I love, thank you for joining us yeah. tonight, by the way. 
Brian, what is happening, by the way? We have about eight winners. We have about eight winners, suddenly. Yeah. So. <laughs> but only one first winner. And just to let you know how this works, we are confirming beyond a shadow of a doubt, we actually have an agency of two employees who are looking over Brian's shoulder from six feet away. That's why it's taking so long <laughs> to figure out. Brian, there's just five numbers, and I just need to make sure that the numbers we called are the ones on the. Yes. They are indeed. Jeanette. Jeanette is the winner. Jeanette, congratulations. We're so excited for you. <laughs> That's the excitement I was looking for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, really. Tell me what she won. What she won. Chris, tell us what she'd won. Let's see. We know how to do this. Well, yeah. Let me, uh, let's take it through. So, uh, from last week, I was hoping this part of the segment didn't, uh, <clears throat> didn't repeat here. itself. But here we go. That's all right. We'll we can go through. Uh, so as always, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're playing for the Canlis CSA box. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Agriculture, And one of the things that we've hoped to do here during this unusual time is to keep our farmers doing the things they do best, which is feeding us with the best food in the world. And we're bringing that to you in a box. That's right. You call us and we'll deliver it to you. We have Samish Bay Organic Greek Yogurt. I had some of that yesterday morning with a little jelly on top. It is plain. Kids, ask your parents for a little honey or a little jelly. There's nothing wrong with plain yogurt whatsoever. I take that back. We probably all eat too much sugar. This is um, Best Buy. This is uh, Teton Farm Creamery. Creamery. This is cheese. It's fresh, soft, rich, and tangy. Mm. And um, what else do we have in here? We have a bag of, uh, wait for it, Jason, a little exciting news. This looks like arugula, ladies and gentlemen. This is a bag of arugula today. If you ordered it today, you would have... Got a little arugula. What else do we have in here? This is the bag here of kale. I recognize it by its kale-like shape. And here are two lonely potatoes. If there are two of you and you're looking for potatoes tomorrow evening, one of you can have the big potato and one of you can have the little potato. Maybe, maybe we'll have the potatoes next week. What else do we have in there, Chris? Seems like we could afford to give more than two potatoes. <laughs> This is an actual, actual chicken. I'm told this is an actual chicken, which is very funny if you work at Canlis, because all week they've been making fun of the fact that I thought last week's chicken was chicken. Turns out it was pork. It, to be fair, it did have a brown wrapper. To be fair, it had a brown wrapper, and the one I took home was a chicken, but the one you took home was pork. There should be no mistaking. This here is... Thank you, <laughs> Marin. Thank you. For anyone in charge of the cue cards, now would be a good time to start writing them and writing in larger letters. Here we have a dozen eggs. I can just tell by the shape of them. We get them from <laughs> Alice and Peter, all the way up in north of here in the Skagit Valley. Alice and Peter have the most beautiful farms and the happiest 154 chickens. I can actually sp attest to that. I've said hello to those chickens. These here is a little Thai garlic and this is shove. This is goat cheese. This is cheese from a goat which is maybe the best kind of cheese there is, in my opinion. We have asparagus, we have some bok choy, some more greens. Look, folks, here's the thing. It's a time to learn how to cook. It's a time to explore in the kitchen. It's a time to get out those second bingo cards, which is really what we're stalling for, and we're showing you what you've won. Jeanette, you might have won some Rob sprouting. There are two things you can do with this. You can put it in a vase and make it beautiful, and when it starts to wilt, Throw it in the oven on 350 degrees. Go ahead and just sprinkle it with a little olive oil and it'll crisp right up in the most delicious snacks you've ever had. You also feel good about yourselves. These are mushrooms, plenty of those to go around this time of year. What else do we have in there, that box, Chris? A little salami made from our good friends just up the street, a little handmade salumi. And then of course we have, that's right, more bingo cards because <laughs> not trying to make addicts out of any of you, but we are trying to keep this little operation going for as many Friday nights as we can. And then, it's just in. It's just in, actually. Um, you know, last week we tried to do a word from our sponsors, and it turns out we might have a last minute sponsor. Hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier in the evening, um, we had a visit from Rob Gray himself. Rob Gray is a knife maker. He's the knife maker of Gray Cloud. He was, for many years, chosen by Filson, the great Seattle company here. Started in 18, early and on. And <laughs> Uh, Rob's making incredible knives, and he stopped by today. He said, Mark, you know, I love bingo. I've always been a fan of bingo, and um, I just thought I'd maybe sweeten the deal on this second round. What do you say to that, Mark? And I said, you know, Rob, you've been making canless knives here for years, three of them. They're stunning knives. They're out of Koa. He gets it, sources the wood himself at Hawaii. And Rob came by with this 
spalted. I actually don't remember what kind of wood it is. Does anyone remember what kind of wood Rob said this was? Alder. Mm. This is spalted mm. alder. It's actually a handmade. It's stunning, actually. Can you get a close-up on that, Jeremy? You know, folks, if you're into oysters, there's only one oyster knife on the planet I recommend using, and that's the one in your pocket. But if you got a better one than that, it's Rob Gray's right here. And so, folks, this is the prettiest oyster knife I've ever seen. It's handmade of spalded alder from the west coast of Oregon. I'm not making that up. I know it sounds like I am. But I'm just now remembering the details of Rob and I's conversation earlier today. So Where is for this at? second round, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is remember, you're getting those second cards out. You might be tucking your kids into bed. You might be pouring yourself a cocktail. You don't have to do that. Grab a sparkling glass of water. But here we go. Oh, do you know what? I had a question. Yeah. Where's the east coast of Oregon? D did I say the east coast? You said the west coast of Oregon. So the, the coast east coast is a is a metaphor for the opposite of the west coast. It's, ah, very uh, it's, good. If you mm -hmm. go to the west coast and you turn around, you're looking at Oregon's Where east coast. I was just curious. So here we go. You I know, I'd like curious. to give a special Why shout out to uh, the emergency room at Children's Hospital. Is it true? So I, my, I am I, I am hearing also in this special ear thing that they are playing with us this evening. A special message to all the first responders. A special message to the folks at Children's Hospital. We love you guys. We think what you're doing is nothing short of, her of, of, of being heroes, of heroic. And we wanna thank you. We wanna thank you in particular by letting you play a little bingo with us this evening and suddenly realizing the importance of your job and the slowness of our production, I'm feeling guilty. So without further ado, I hope you are having a lovely night at Children's Hospital. Thank you for your fine work. Let's kick off the second round. round. round yeah, two. second round. Nico, what is that? just tuning in, the number to text with a picture of your winning bingo card again that is 480-702-1978. 480-702-1978. Those of you just joining in, ju tuning in, we're, we're joined by Nika Moss, who uh, sang a beautiful set accompanying Jason Lux here on our fourth week of live stream piano. Nika, take us away. Okay. Toss the bingo balls and let's see what happens. G50. G50. I-21. 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 Next is O-65. O-65. Nika, don't be shy with those salad tongs. Go ahead and get them yeah, all mixed up and... and oh, no. oh, oh, we have a runaway. Stand I'll put it by. Oh. I can't. Everyone, uh, fair. Everyone, <laughs> fair game for everyone. There we go. N43. You know, we can't number. do that with salad when that happens at the dining floor. With a ping pong ball, you just throw it right back in the yeah. salad bowl and nobody, nobody thinks... N43. What? N43. N40. I think he can... I, can you can you see it? I think I we're... Know. I think we're going to focus on N43. It's... Um, Good to me. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't quit our day jobs. In Which fact, is weird we all have night jobs anyway. So that's uh, what's the next number there? Chris? Next is number is 061. 061. 061. Mathematically speaking, we could have a winner. You're looking for any five in a row: horizontal, vertical, diagonal. You choose the row. We choose the five. N35. 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 You too will go home with it. You know what we forgot to mention? I think we're also giving away a canless gift card with that CSA box. Oh, that's right, I believe yeah. we are. Yeah, don't right. worry, folks, we'll throw that in also. Anyway. We haven't forgotten. B6. 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 Brian is G60. over there working feverishly. G60, he's G60. answering. It's interesting how many of you choose to text during this suspenseful time of bingo. It's <laughs> remarkable how many messages he's getting. Some of you just want to chat, talk about the weather, talk about the next menu we might come out with. But we're playing bingo here, folks, and he's working as hard as he can. He's also my little brother, so cut him some slack. I feel like uh, I feel like I feel like I'm covering from a long time. Brian, how are we doing? Am I? Chris, this is so sweet. Oh, wait, wait this just in. Hold on. This this from Children's Hospital, Brian. We don't have a mic on you. It's chiming in. Oh, it's too bright. It's too bright. They are they are gaming to play at Children's. Children's is gaming to play. We're gonna we're gonna pause just a moment for those just coming out of, uh, out of whatever important task they're doing to join us for this less ever so slightly less important task. Why don't we read out the numbers so the folks at Children's Hospital, some of the nurses just joining us right now. So go ahead, Chris, yeah, yeah, take us very there. Good. Kicked off with G50. 
I-21-065-N43-1, N-35-1, N-35-1, B-6, and G-60, with the next number, N-45. N-45, ladies and gentlemen. N-45, Jason Cole. Thank you. I felt like N-45 knew that. It was reminding me of playing for a canless CSA box, some of the best produce, agriculture, proteins, little chickens, pork. I-26. 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 There's a handmade oyster knife from Gray Cloud. Just makes them down in South Seattle. I've been to his shop. It's a pretty awesome place. Next up, O-74. 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 Great year to be born, 74. Mm. You guys would know because you're both 30 years younger than I am. Which is O-75. O oh, come on, really? Yeah. That's amazing. It's crazy. <laughs> Nika, I want to make sure you're getting a full, a full, healthy, I mean, I'm not blaming you in any way. May I say you're doing a remarkable job for someone who thought she was just going to come sing a couple songs and now finds herself hosting one of the hottest trending shows on live stream. That's right. Canless Bingo. <laughs> I-20. I-20. How is it possible that, but it is possible, I believe. Brian wants us to slow down just a minute. He says there's a lot of action on the internet of things over there. He's, he's squinting. Brian, you can turn the brightness back up. That way you turn it down for the camera and there's a little brightness button there on the, it's got kind of like a light bulb-ish symbol. It's kind of like, hello, hello, like this. It says, makes the whole screen get brighter, take your battery down faster, but, uh, <laughs> oh goodness, the camera's on me. Is this live? Is this thing on? I think are we, think are so. we wait, I, so Can we draw another ball? Or are we are we still waiting for Jeremy the cameraman tells me that the poor folks at home are stabbing themselves with oyster knives. He's actually bent over double. I don't know if he's laughing at me or with me, but I, I feel I'm, like I'm you're laughing at, with me, Jeremy. Certainly at you. Here we go. Here we go. Take us there, Nika, and thank you for volunteering. I so, did it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> o 62. No, you did not volunteer. We actually. O 62. O 62. Thank you for not volunteering, but being such a willing sport. Yes. O 62 was the last number. As a reminder, I feel like we should cover the rules again. A lot of people haven't played bingo. You're just looking for five of the 64 balls we've just pulled out of that salad bowl. You just need five. It could go this way or this way. It can go all the, any way. Even if you have four, we'd be interested to know if you're awfully close, that would encourage us. And that's what these times are for. That's why we're doing this to encourage you. So how about uh, the next number? Is it perhaps the winning number, perhaps? O 64. O sixty four. O sixty four. O sixty four. We're almost out of double sticky tape. We have, we a, have bingo? a bingo. We're we're hearing that we have a bingo. Can we have a confirmation? Stand by. Hold on. The suspense is too much. The it's near bedtime. Yes. And we are here at Canless Restaurant. Mm -hmm. We've closed down for the. Why is the game moving? I was just talking. Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Bingo. We have a bingo winner! We have a bingo winner! Just like we did it! Our we did it! It's our second week, our second ever bingo winner. Ladies and how do you take the mic off this thing? Jason Lux, I want to thank you for all of your visionary live streaming. I want to thank you, Nika Moss, for being a willing participant in tonight's absurdity. And Chris Ganneberger, as always, I feel more comfortable when you're six feet away from me. And I I mean that with every loving bone in my body. Brian, do we have Samantha from nearby, <laughs> a, a neighborhood nearby. Samantha, you've won. You've won, well, you've won it all. You've won CSA, you've won the opportunity to experiment with all sorts of fun ingredients for tomorrow night's dinner. Except we won't have it to you for that soon. You've won a gift service to Candlest for one day when we become a restaurant again. You've won an oyster knife. Samantha, if you don't like oysters, talk to Rob Gray. He's a remarkably kind man. He makes some of the best knives in the world with the most beautiful engraving. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember how we end the show. Yes, Brian. We had five winners on that. We had five. Okay, so just as a reminder, next week, folks, we had five winners on that one. We had six on that. So I recommend getting a cameraman just like we've got. And as soon as that bingo card is 
ready to go. So you got to shoot that picture and send it our way. And congratulations to all those who joined us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this concludes the second ever Friday family night of bingo. We'd like to finish the evening with something a little more soothing than this. Jason Lux, do you think you could close the night out? One more song. Oh, I could. <laughs> I, if you want me to. Yes, we do want you to sing. Okay. We absolutely <laughs> want you to sing. There's no reason in the world we wouldn't. Ladies and gentlemen, in our live studio of three, how about a hand for Nika Moss to bring her back up on stage? As it turns out, we might have actually, we might have actually just taken Nika's fancy microphone and balled it up into a little wad on the floor during some of the, um, some of, <laughs> some of the excitement for Bingo. And now we're just gonna pause for a moment and remind you that uh, in these times, we have nothing but to wake up in the morning, see the sun up in the sky, remind ourselves that it's still up there. There's much to be thankful for. Tonight I'm thankful for Jason, for Nika, for the cast and crew, Canless Bingo. Let's be honest, that's the same person. to your heart I'm in a 